Hey, John, what's the other guy look like? <laughs> now, Art, you know better. This right. is my Moe's uh, uh, scar, not a scar. It's a, they've got stitches in there. They'll pull them out Friday. It'll all be fine. Moe's is the, what did they do? They dug out a basal cell carcinoma. Mm -hmm. You got to go see your uh, dermatologist at least once a year. Right. And uh, he found something he didn't like, took a biopsy. We went in, they cut it out and uh, put some stitches in. And I've generally been wearing a bandage over it, but I don't need to. The, the stitches are coming out tomorrow, I think. Right. Also, I uh, just for our audience, uh, uh, and uh, we've spoken about that, this before, uh, I just finished uh, uh, my five-year uh, period of time, had my five-year checkup for a melanoma yes. that I had. Yes. Okay, yeah. which they had to actually do a more serious surgery with, but I'm totally clean and clear. Right. And so, but maybe every year, a year and a half, they, uh, we have these basal cell carcinomas. Half the time, they clip them off, they send them away, and there's no problem. And every so often, it shows that it's precancerous or it has a, it's just beginning to, to sure. so they have this Mose, not M-O-E, like uh, Larry Moe and Curly, uh, but um, uh, I think it's uh, M-O-H-S, yes. which is the procedure. And what they do is they, uh, they uh, take some uh, 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 a sample, they give it right to a technician, and they keep checking every every so often. Yep. Take a little bit more. Sometimes I have to do it twice, uh, yep. and the same session. It, but you're under anesthetic, yep. a local anesthetic. You don't feel anything. Uh, it, it's all while you wait, and they they examine it. They know they got it or they didn't get it. They go right. back for more, whatever it is. And then when it's you walk out efficient. of there, you walk out of there. You know you're cancer free because they wouldn't have even done the procedure if it was a, a what they consider a significant risk. They just want to right. get rid of it, and uh, yep. so they do it locally in the office. So anyway. Um, uh, I would say uh, again. What is the wait? What does the uh, other oh, guy look like? Excuse me. Oh, it's a, oh, oh it's, this. Oh. oh, that's not part of the Mo's. <laughs> Got nothing to do with Mo's. This is the the subject of the day. By the way, it's a broken thumb, and uh, it's got a pin in the, my thumb. Let me see if you can. There you go. That's a. It's just the thumb, but they, I, of course they wrap it up really well. And you were with Mo, you were you went through fisticuffs with Mo's. The lesson for the day, Art, the, the theme for this video is don't fall down, right? And it's easy hmm. to say. It's hard to do because, after all, you turn 50, you're still vibrant and happy and exercising, and you turn 60, things slow down a little bit. You start retiring. You sit down. You're doing more hobbies and less activity. And all of a sudden, you don't hmm. realize it, but your muscles are not as strong as they were you're not uh you're not as vibrant as you once were and quite frankly sometimes your bones get a little more brittle so as you age the most important thing we can do is keep exercising and stay keep your balance tr pr mm. practice balancing what happened to me was very simple i was working on a hillside gardening and i didn't put my foot on the ground, I put it on top of a lot of shiny leaves and I slipped and my balance wasn't good enough to catch myself. Hmm. So I must have landed on my thumb. <laughs> Bad way to try to stop a fall and uh, broke my thumb. But the point is, it can happen to anybody at any age. As you get older, the consequences are more dire and uh, nobody wants to break a thumb or do anything else when you fall down. Luckily, I really didn't uh, have any other major injuries to speak of. So this will be off in six or eight weeks, and uh, oh, sure. I'll be back to doing stupid stuff on the hillside without uh, good footing. You'll be back okay. to your Jack and Jill syndrome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I really do. I really do have to impress on people. Um, you know, at my age, I thought, uh, "Gee, I'm in great shape," and the answer is, "Yeah, not bad, but you can't do stupid stuff." You know, like not have good footing. I, here I put my foot on shiny plants in order to bend over on this hillside. Well, you can't do that. You got to get under the plants and get into the dirt, get a good footing. That's just stupid. All right. Well, That's me, got nothing to do with being old and brittle and having bad balance. Well, John, as you, uh, as you know, and some of the audience know that I practice Tai Chi a couple of days a week. And one yes. of the benefits of that, besides you have the movement and uh, cardio and a lot of other good things about that, 
is that it helps with your balance because you're constantly moving and you have to shift from one leg to the other. And uh, one of one of the uh, I practice twice a week uh, with a, a teacher, and um, one one of them has about a fifteen minute section which is strictly on balance. And I noticed that's good. I yeah. noticed that over the last three years or so since the pandemic started, and basically I've been doing it at home and I haven't been practicing that much. But I also have not been doing my weight training a couple of days a week, not much, at the gym. And I guess some of the muscles that had I had constantly been working, I wasn't working. I mean, I do cardio at the gym almost sure. every day, but that's not the same as doing weight training and, yeah. and, and providing a, 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 you know, a muscle tone. So yeah. uh, just co uh, coincidentally, about three or four weeks ago, I started, uh, I got to the gym three days a week. I started doing leg presses and uh, bicep curls and things like that, yeah. just because I noticed that I, my balance wasn't as good as it had been climbing stairs. Yeah. It's a little bit more difficult. Yeah. And uh, I found that in the last three weeks, just going three days a week and building a little bit more and more strength in my various muscles, uh, that my balance has improved. I'm able to walk stairs sure. more easily. I feel more sure-footed, which is uh, you know something that you were just talking about. And it just coincidentally, in the last three or four weeks, I found myself, my balance and my yep. ability to control that improving because I resumed doing something I basically stopped for three years uh, yeah. uh, during the pandemic. So I think it's a, a lesson for everybody. We're no experts in this stuff, but I think we all know intrinsically, all of us in our audience, know intrinsically that as we get older, and as you said, we're more sedentary, uh, that uh, one of the things that uh, uh, disappears is some muscle term. And it doesn't yeah. have to. It, it, and you don't have to put a lot of work into it. And sometimes you do. And then you just have to make a decision. What's more important is, right. you know, having three extra uh, sessions of about 40, 35 or 40 minutes a week, which in my case, which is helping me or avoid it because it's a pain in the butt. So in any event, uh, it's an important thing. Uh, if you go to our uh, uh, playlist and you uh, uh, watch Donna Lynn and all her right. exercises, if you follow that routine at home, that's yeah. probably going to help you quite a bit with it as yeah. well. Or get to a gym or find yourself a coach and work on balance. Because as we get old, older, you, you take one slip and uh, yep. well, even some of us have trouble. Uh, and it's getting easier for me now that I'm doing the training again, just getting up from the floor. And uh, that's something that, you know, nobody who's over sure. 60 hasn't probably experienced. It's more difficult. You know, except yeah. for the few people who are just incredibly great shape. But I was. Yeah. I want to. I want to say. A, I want to say a word about Donna Lynn. Um, her exercises. Her uh, um, every. We put them up every Monday, on our channels. Um, her exercises are really a good mixture of yoga, and stretching, mm. and muscle tone. She she has plenty of exercises that'll, you know, tone your muscles as well, and balance. And all because what she's trying to do is get your whole body uh, in shape. So if you followed her exercises every week and practiced them each week, it would help. It would be a big help. So I, I recommend Donna Lynn's uh, videos on celebrating Act Two. Okay, so I'd like to leave our audience with it, even though this is really your story, John. Uh, you are the star this week, but I want to I want to sort of wrap it around by saying uh, a, a turn of a phrase. Weevils wobble, but they do fall down if you, <laughs> you lose muscle tone. So don't be a, a wobbling, weevil. don't be a wobbling weevil that doesn't fall. Yeah, that does fall down. Yeah. All right, everybody. Listen, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching Celebrating Act Two. Uh, keep watching. Subscribe if you can. And uh, by the way, exercise. Keep your muscle tone. Work on your balance because your muscles help you balance and uh, stay healthy. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.